Hello everyone, I'm welcome to the video and today we have essentially a checklist to pay off the first position preview cards a lot sooner than I expected. This, this is a checklist for not just the first edition stamp cards but all of them in the preview set. As you can see all those ticks there, we've got them all and then we've got all man matches and all legend cards which is the next gen cards and we've got about half the mirror four cards. So yeah. Also, one thing I did forget to mention is that the release date is August 26th, so you'll probably start seeing it top ship them from around the 19th, 20th, if they do that, they must seem to last year where they ship it for pre orders first. I will try and get them box and start a pack for the launch. Megatins will be after, the mini will be after, if I can't get them in a model or whatever on the, on the launch and pre order. I'll try my best to get the tins in pre order. But I'm prioritizing the box. So then I can do the box band update and then get get the tins and everything for afterwards. I, I need to get the videos regular for it. So yeah. I'm just gonna do it slowly so I can look at all of them. Holographic foil cards and mirror foil cards. And they've kept the chases on hashtag from last year. I just did a list of the 12 base, 7 mirror, 2 holographic, 21 out of 88 needed. Including these swaps that I've got that I can use to swap later on. Like I can use the case to swap for limited gym. That's going for another legend or whatever. Into Lambage, Gaspar Captain, Ryan Kent, Joey Bell, Winter Smalling. Juan Quadrado, Porto Badge, Jan Mario, Devin Neres, Edson Alvarez, Patrick Chiquilini, Hugh Bellingham, and Martelli. All those base cards that I can potentially use to swap all the base cards in a bigger swap. And obviously we've got the Game Changer, Bernal Silva, and the two of them, Chiesa and Vinigia. And obviously the Man Ratchers, they're not swaps, they're just, well, I've put them separately to all the base that I've put first editions and the standard cards together as well when we're going to bind it anyway. So yeah, I just put them standard card behind the first edition cards when I get the first edition cards like I did last time. I might do it the other way around. I can't remember. But I, even, though, even though the first edition cards are going to still count as part of the collection. Otherwise, that could get difficult. So yeah, thank you all for watching and goodbye.